Hello friends, I'm Shiny and I welcome you to the Bread of Life. Let us look to the Holy Bible. Job chapter 38 verse 39 to chapter 39 verse 30. The main idea of the day is, can you? Can you hunt the prey for the lion or satisfy the appetite of the young lions? When they crouch in their dens or lie in wait in their thicket, who provides for the raven its prey and its young ones cry to God for help and wander about for lack of food? Do you know when the mountain goats give birth? Do you observe the calving of the does? Can you number the months that they fulfill? And do you know the time when they give birth? When they crouch, bring forth their offspring and are delivered of their young? Their young ones become strong. They grow up in the open. They go out and do not return to them. The wings of the ostrich wave proudly. But are they the and plumage of love? For she leaves her eggs to the earth and lets them be warmed on the ground, forgetting that a foot may crush them and that the wild beast may trample them. Forgetting that a foot may crush them and that the wild beast may trample them. She deals cru cruelly with her young, as if they were not hers. Though her labor be in vain, yet she has no fear, because God has made her forget wisdom and given her no share in understanding. When she rouses herself to flee, she laughs at the horse and his rider. Let us understand the word of God. God also spoke to Job about the wonders of the animal world. God made him realize how weak and insignificant people are. God created all animals and gave them what they need exactly where, whether it is strength or wisdom. To some he gave them strength and to some he gave the ability to run fast. He gave ostriches beautiful wings and strong legs but did not give the wisdom to look after the children. It is God who feeds and takes care of all animals in the world, helps them to bear offspring and He cares for them. How much more does He care for us if God looks after all the animals He created? May the Lord bless us with His holy words. Let us pray and practice. Dear God, thank you for your beautiful words. Lord, knowing that you are the one who is an authority, please help us so that we may obey and walk according to your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.